you guys, we're back over here at Larry's. Getting some updates on the framework. You see he already got frame rails, new frame rails in. Back there. Come over here. Let's see what's going on back here. These will be, the old frame rails will be cut out after he gets everything mocked up and welded in. Back here. Back. Back there. I told y'all this man is a, is a beast with his welding work. Can't wait to see it done. I'll probably have to get a fuel cell the factory tank won't fit back in here under there with the modifications but that's no biggie they're not that expensive yeah it's coming along coming along coming along so we'll keep this video short but uh I'll come back to y'all with some more updates We got the rear end out, got the axles in. Powder coated rotors that I did. We're getting there. Some progress here. Put the suspension back in and get it hung. We're getting there. <laughs> so how y'all feel about the design of the wheels? Do you, do you think the wheels match the car? Yeah, they look great. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What's up, YouTube?
We back, me and my boy Kevin Coop. Back at the crib, got the car back from Larry. As you see, you got the, the rollouts on it. Uh, it's nine o'clock at night, so. Um, just getting back to the house. I uh, did not put the wheels on because his alley coming out of his, uh, where his garage is, is, is uh, all dirt. So of course it rained like crazy today and uh, it was super muddy. So I put the factories on and rolled it to the crib. Got the, got the wheels in there. They need to be cleaned up because they've been in the shop for six weeks. So I need to wash them and get them pretty again. But I'll be back at you, man. The daylight, mount it up. So you can see what it look like. All right, peace. Boy, YouTube, I got the car back. It was super dirty, so I had to clean it up real quick. Get it washed off. And uh, this is what it looks like with no wheels on it. Yeah, got the back wheels here, get them cleaned up too, cause they were filthy from being in the shop. So, what I gotta do now is mount up. See what this thing look like. I'm going to the other side of the garage. Get a wider view of what it looks like. Yeah, Be clean, Be real clean. And I wish there was a way, I wish, you know, I wish I knew magic or something. So I didn't have to put in work to put these wheels on. But uh, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. But you know, with the magic of the internet, sometimes you can just, and it's done. Look at that. Mount it up. 24 by 15s. Looking super dope. Don't worry, I'm gonna do some more videos when it's light outside, but I want to show y'all this. Man, this thing looks sweet. Got my slot and drill rotors, disc brakes back there. Inside, I gotta, you know, put stuff back where it belongs. I might just do a rear seat delete instead of trying to, I don't know, modify a seat to go back there. Might just do some creative back in the back seat. That would be a two seater. He had to uh, raise my tunnel so the drive shaft wouldn't hit. So I gotta put some more carpet down because the carpet, you know, was uh only wide enough to accommodate the lower tunnel. So now it's not reaching all the way to the side like it used to be. But I'll clean all that up this weekend maybe, if I feel like it. You know, still got a minute before car show season, so ain't no rush to do nothing. Trunk down pop. There we go. But sometimes when it gets cold, just pop it and went to work. Here's the bag. Yeah, I gotta get my weather stripping on here ASAP because water be getting all down in here. I'm gonna wash my car. 
But uh, so I'll probably do another video. You know when it gets uh, when it's out outdoors, but I mean outdoors when it's light outside. Um, but anyway, we had to use some some of those hood lift supports because the springs, the factory springs that hold the uh, trunk up were hitting the tub so the trunk wouldn't close. And even these arms, the, uh, even these hit a little bit, but uh, not too bad. Fuel cell under there. We gotta make a little cap for it. See the fuel cell back here. Real good. Yeah, y'all. This thing looking beasty. Yeah, y'all. Thanks for uh, going on the journey with me. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. But uh, of course, I'll be back at you with some rolling footage. Probably some burnout footage. Four tens in the rear end, but I gotta break them in first. But yeah, it was good. Alright, you too. Check y'all out later. Peace. Oh, YouTube, I almost forgot. I gotta give a big, big shout out to my dude Larry Bennett. He did on my frame, back half, and tub work. Got it knocked out in six weeks. Wasn't playing around. Got it done, went above and beyond. Uh, he did an amazing job on this, man. Also, his uh, his assistant, his partner, Michael Woods. Appreciate you as well. And uh, anybody else that had anything to do with the build up to this point. Um, but yeah, I couldn't uh, make this video without giving a shout out to Mary. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.